It's the first day of the 12 days of vlogs during Christmas, and I start off the vlog with some construction going on over at Universal's Aventura Hotel with Volcano Bay in the background. Uh, this season, we're not doing 12 days of Disney Parks vlogs. I wish I was, uh, but there's um, many reasons why I'm not able to this year. Uh, so we can definitely expect next year to be uh, a year where I do 12 days of consecutive Disney Parks vlogs, but not this year. Anyways, guys, though, this is really a nighttime vlog. It's gonna be a nighttime vlog for the most part. I am going to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and there's a digital billboard advertisement for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party it's where we're headed right now I am now about to drive under the Walt Disney World arches check it out we have some Christmas decorations up this is awesome it's time for an awesome Christmas event and check it out on the Magic Kingdom toll plaza they have inflatable uh, Mickey's I believe so that's pretty nice Looks like they are sold out for tonight's event. Good thing I bought a ticket. It's gonna be busy. Progress is being made on the overpass that will take uh, guests over to the resorts. So that's cool. And the tram is approaching. It's not one of the new ones though. So we're over here at the TTC Ticket and Transportation Center. They have a sign right here saying, sorry folks, tonight's event is sold out. Meaning that, uh, yeah, they have distributed all of the tickets. I like the decorations here at the TTC. I feel like this is new. I don't think I've seen uh, Christmas decorations here in previous years. What you generally see is advertisements for the party on the TV screens and on the windows. Here's another one of those advertisements. And by the way, you do have to get a separate ticket for the event. Uh, and with that separate ticket, there's um, you know tiered pricing. So on specific dates, the pricing would be different than other dates. I am excited for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This will be my first party for this year, for 2017. We have a sign here saying that the Magic Kingdom will be closing promptly at 6 p.m. It's about 6.15 right now, so the Magic Kingdom is now closed for regular guests. So the monorails are holding for further traffic clearance, but it looks like they're closing the gates now. I guess uh, they told me I could bypass the whole line. I don't know. Oh, check it out. It's the orange monorail. You can see the uh, Christmas tree here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Just like at the TTC Ticket and Transportation Center, they have one of these Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party signs giving uh, guests information on how they can purchase tickets. Well, here we are at the Magic Kingdom. We're now going to head in and get that Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party wristband. And of course, check out everything that they have to offer here at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And here is my band for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I love it here during the holidays. I love all of the Walt Disney World parks during the holidays. It does get busy, but it still is very enjoyable. Here's one of the Disney Photo Pass opportunities. A Disney Photo Pass photographer will take your photo right here in front of the Main Street train station. Well, anyways, we're gonna head right in. Of course, we'll get a map for the uh, event tonight and some flyers but I definitely want to head in and get the night started. And just like every Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party Night, they have the logo projected directly onto the ground right here. Makes for a great photo opportunity. And a sign stating that tonight's 
event is sold out. Check it out, I grabbed a map for tonight's event. All of the information pertaining to tonight's event can be found in this map, and so we'll uh, be looking through it, and there's a lot to see and a lot to do. We have the double-decker Main Street trolley right here, directing guests over to the main area where we'll be able to receive our sugar cookies, pretty much everything else for the event. They also have some photo opportunities back there, and they're selling some merchandise. Well, here's something I didn't know. You're actually able to climb on board this trolley and get your uh, picture taken. And of course, we're gonna head on over this way and receive the sugar cookie and uh, get some photos. By the way, I did not show you guys the Christmas tree yet. Check that out. Wow, does that look awesome. And here's one of the inflatable pillars right here, welcoming us to Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Look, it's Mickey and Minnie. So I did want to point out that you do have to have a wristband present, and you gotta show it to cast members in order to pass through this area. Wow, they have nutcrackers here. That's awesome. About to get my photo taken with one of the frames. They have several of them. And the photos don't stop here. There are plenty of photo opportunities around the park, just like uh, many of the other events, like uh, Mickey's uh, Not So Scary Halloween Party. Here is the event map right here, and there are seven holiday treat locations. After getting your photo taken, you can walk right over here, and this is where you'll be able to get a sugar cookie. Thank you. Check it out. It's a Santa sugar cookie. Yum. One of the inflatable pillars featuring a toy soldier. I don't know if I already said this, but I cannot contain my excitement. Sugar cookies, and then unlimited like milk and cookies and other specialty items throughout the night. This is gonna be great. And uh, plus the fireworks, I think it's a holiday wishes. And then we also have the uh, Christmas parade. Some of the merchandise that you can purchase for tonight's Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Now I already have one of the Mickey bulb necklaces, but you can also get a t-shirt. And they have a few more of these pillars, but these say enjoy the party. And here's one of the wreaths, many of those throughout the park. Check it out, it's snowing here on Main Street. Snow! Oh my gosh! Look at the Cinderella castle with the lights. That looks incredible. This is my first time like this season seeing the Cinderella castle all lit up. And the colors change frequently on the buildings here on Main Street. way to spend your holiday season. I'm actually heading over to the firehouse now to get one of those cards that they give out uh, like every year during the uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. They also give some out during uh, the Not So Scary Halloween Party. The snow is coming down like crazy. Here is the firehouse and all you have to do is walk right on in and uh, you'll be able to get one of those cards. Here it is, a Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card. Now this one actually features Rover from the Carousel of Progress and uh, I can add this to my collection because I also have one from the Not So Scary Halloween Party. And some of the snow coming off the Main Street Emporium along with the Christmas tree. Looks like I'll be getting my photo taken right over here by a Disney PhotoPass photographer. One of my uh, favorite photo opportunities here. They actually add a uh, cool frame to it. Love the lighting here on the Main Street train station. Just got my photo here with the presents and the Christmas tree in the background. Now it's time to devour some tasty holiday treats. And as you guys can see, the music synchronizes perfectly with the projections on the Main Street buildings.
The Main Street Emporium has really decked the halls this year. Lots and lots of Christmas merchandise. Right over here we have a Disney Parks Christmas train set. Here's Mickey and Minnie and the rest of the gang all ready for the holidays. And of course you can also get your ornaments, many variations of them. They also have many of the Mickey Bulb holiday necklaces and then Christmas hats right there. And of course, lots of different t-shirts. I have this one from last year, just didn't bring it with me. A special shirt for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2017. Here's something neat. You can get a Mickey Mouse light up mitt. Wow, is that one heck of a view right there. Looks like they have the fountains turned off for tonight's event, possibly due to cold temps. Right before I get a spot for the uh, parade, I actually wanted to get some of the uh, specialty Mickey waffles. They're like red Mickey Mouse waffles for the holiday season. Now, I'm pretty sure I know where to get them. This view right here is unbelievable. Look at that reflection right there on the water. Wow. Every time we see one of these inflatable peppermint pillars, that means it's a treat location, so I believe uh, we can walk right in here and get some cookies and some eggnog. I am now at Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. I decided to skip on the uh, treat location for right now. The line was a little bit long. Uh, here are some of the different offerings. I actually really like this uh, fresh fruit waffle, but we're here to get those holiday Mickey Mouse waffles. They do have them here and they also have another treat. I'll have to try that a little bit later. It's a Sandy Claus dessert. There are uh, some of the regular Mickey waffles and some of the special red velvet ones. Now here they are. It doesn't exactly look like the picture as red as it's supposed to. I mean, it kind of looks dark red. Um, so I would say it's more dark red than uh, light red shown in the picture. Still, gonna be good and I will review it. Uh, looks like we also have some ice cream and whipped cream on top caramel and then sprinkles and one more shot of the special red velvet Mickey waffles before I eat them so I'm going to now be getting a spot for the parade coming right on up we have a frozen holiday wish where Anna and Elsa help light up the castle followed by that we have Mickey's once upon a Christmas time parade and I have the perfect spot for both of them so I'll go ahead and wait right here <laughs> And snow, ice and snow.
And that was a frozen holiday wish. And we are now about to see Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. And I love that parade, it's gonna be awesome. train that's going around. Oh look, there it is. There's a train. Pooper Scooper. Check it out, Chippendale! Ah, that's funny, they're in their like chef costumes. I guess they're the ones making like all the treats.
smells good. You can even smell the tree. Oh look, it's the seven dwarfs. Guess they're uh, taking a break from the mine. I've seen uh, these horses in the parade before. This might be new. Razor E100 electric scooters. I know that because I used to own one. Oh look, they have the Pixar balls. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. We have Jesse and Woody. Who else do we have? Oh, we have Bullseye. I don't see Prospector, but I do see one of the uh, army men. excited <laughs>
of the Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. We're starting here in Tomorrowland. We'll make our way around uh, Fantasyland, Frontierland, and then uh, I guess we'll end in Liberty Square. We'll just do kind of a quick loop. I love how they have the logo projected directly onto the rocks right here in Tomorrowland. Adds a very, very nice touch. We have those projected uh, snowflakes in addition to the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party logo. Well, here's some interesting news. Stitch's Great Escape is going to close permanently on, looks like January 6th, and it's going to be replaced with a brand new attraction. Here it is, right here. It's going away. So after January 6th, you're not gonna be able to ride or experience Stitch's Great Escape. Uh, this is something we kind of knew, uh, given that uh, the attraction went to seasonal ops. When an attraction does that, it's pretty probable that it's going to close. And they're not even really advertising it or marketing it as an attraction anymore. But we do a zoom in right over here. Stitch's alien encounter character greeting. So you're able to now meet Stitch, but maybe when the attraction closes, they'll get rid of his meet and greet too. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that the attraction will be closing and there will be no more Stitch's Great Escape. I'm kind of sad to see it close, but you know what? I definitely need to experience it one last time if I can. And I'm kind of excited about the future. I mean, it's an old attraction. I remember when I was a kid, like when it was brand new, and they were actually, um, you know, advertising it a lot on the monorails. They actually had Stitch speak. So when you would, uh, you know, take the monorail over here, that was one of the uh, spiels. They had Stitch kind of speaking. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm definitely going to miss this attraction. And here's a fun fact. Uh, during Hurricane Irma, one of the billboards on I-4 kind of got ripped apart. Like the new uh, billboard got ripped apart. Uh, showcasing an older billboard for this attraction. So uh, that was funny that they had a billboard for a short amount of time that uh, had Stitch's Great Escape and it. It said new, so people were wondering what's going on. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, most of the locations where you can get holiday treats, they actually have different items available. So we're gonna see what's available at this uh, location, but again, most of them will have different items. And here's our very first one in Tomorrowland. Thank you. They are giving away snow cones and here they are and they're making them and then of course you can also get a cookie on the way out And here are the cookies and they're just kind of putting them on a napkin and giving them out And here is a close-up of the cookie now they put it on a Disney Parks napkin Which is kind of nice fancy and then uh, we got the blue snow cone. It's gonna be good uh, Similar treats to last year. I think they actually did have this last year, but they have a few new things as well So uh, we're gonna try this and I'll let you guys know what I think. I like the uh, Space Mountain color scheme the exterior lighting is red, but uh, apparently it lights up multiple colors, so we'll probably ride it later. We'll probably come back and see uh, some different colors. They recently opened this uh, seating area, so they had construction walls around here. They were kind of remodeling the, uh, uh, I guess, seating area. They also remodeled the restrooms or bathrooms inside the Cosmic Rays. Looks like we have a dance party going on in there. We're gonna check that out. I think it's called Club Tinsel. And then uh, we'll also get some treats in here. And as I suspected, it is called Club Tinsel. Oh, they're waving to each other. <laughs> Over here at Bay One, within Cosmic Rays, they're giving away cookies and hot chocolate. So you come right over here to the counter and then you can get it. And here is the sign. Uh, they're actually giving away snickerdoodle cookies and hot cocoa. As you guys can see, a lot of cookies right there. A lot of hot cocoa. And these are complimentary holiday treats. Okay, thank you. Of course you can. And right here I have the snickerdoodle cookie and hot cocoa. All right, here's my hot cocoa in front of the projected Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party logo. Hot cocoa, haven't tried yet, but I did try the snickerdoodle cookie and that was delicious. So the hot cocoa is great. It's actually a great way to warm up because it's a little bit chilly out here. I mean, it's not totally cold. So our next holiday treat location is actually located in the Storybook Circus area. I would totally be riding the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train right now. And my camera actually picks up the uh, attraction very well compared to my previous camera. But yeah, I'd definitely be riding it. Just not tonight because I definitely need to get those treats. There's a lot of uh, things I got to do. I got to be honest, guys. I do miss the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, though. It's been, uh, it's been quite some time since I've ridden it. I really need to get back here and ride it soon. 
We are now about to enter the Storybook Circus area specifically for Pete's Silly Sideshow. That is our next holiday treat location. These treats are delicious and the fact that it's all included with park admission, or I guess the event ticket, is spectacular. I mean, you can just walk up and get unlimited cookies. Now you probably won't eat unlimited. I mean, there's only so much you can eat. Still, it's, it's pretty cool. And I found another one of these pillars. We're gonna go ahead and see what they have to offer. And over here, they're giving away peppermint, crunch cookies, and Nesquik chocolate milk. Hi. Hi. Hey, Thank yeah. you, appreciate it. You Milk, honey. Yes. Hi, how you doing? Merry Christmas. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. So they actually gave me uh, two cookies along with that Nesquik chocolate milk. Mmm, it's gonna be good. I tried one of the peppermint cookies. Very, very good. Love it. I think that's actually the best cookie I've had so far. Now, I haven't had the chocolate milk yet, but you know, it's, it's just your typical chocolate milk. Oh, look, a firework or a wishing star. So our next two uh, stops are the Friar's Nook and the Pinocchio Village House. Is it pronounced the Pinocchio Village House or the Pinocchio Village House? I don't know. I mean, it's spelled like H-A-U-S. The operations on the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train are incredible. They're dispatching those trains like no tomorrow. It is a Disney park though, so I mean, that's uh, expected. <laughs> we are now at the Friar's Nook, directly across from the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And this is our next holiday treat location. Hi, how you doing? All right, thank you. Enjoy. Ooh, candy. Mm. By the way, the chocolates are Dove, so holiday your way. These are all Dove chocolates. So this is apple juice. Some people are calling it like apple cider, but yeah, it's basically apple juice, and then we got some chocolates. Oh no, it is actually like an apple cider. It's definitely a cider because like it has that sparkling kick to it. In order to make sure that I'm able to see holiday wishes, I'm going to make this is my last holiday treat location for right now, the Pinocchio Village House. All right, here in the Pinocchio House, uh, they have cookies, got a few of those, uh, hot cocoa, and they also had the uh, cider, but I already got that, so I figured I didn't need another one. Uh, so yeah, pretty much the same thing I got at the other places. 